This is uh, voted the number one beach in the nation by who? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. 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 Everybody says so. It looks like the sand out of an hourglass. It does. It totally does. Well, we made it to Siesta Beach, Sarasota. That's what we decided to do last night. Basically, we got in the car after the Everglades experience and we were just so pumped up and jazzed from that whole thing. We thought, well, let's not just go pull in somewhere and, and spend the night. Let's just make it up to Sarasota. So that's what we did. We got in here at this Walmart parking lot at 12.15 last night. And then we made a few calls this morning and found an RV resort that is called Fun and Sun and it's not too far from here and they said we can just go over there right now. So that's working out. A couple uh, a couple tips though. First of all, I've heard Sarasota is absolutely beautiful and Fiesta Beach is apparently like one of the top beaches in the US, so we're pretty excited about it. Turtle Beach Campground is right on Fiesta Beach, but they don't allow dogs. Then we called the next closest beach to Fiesta and they don't allow kids. <laughs> so now we found fun in the sun and they have availability. So Trish is just in Walmart right now getting some groceries. I went in for bleach, so even, but it was really great in there. Okay. I have mentioned this before in a how to get set up video that we did at the KOA Mount Rushmore, how important it is before you disconnect the trailer to make sure everything reaches. Because now I have completely disconnected the truck from the trailer and the electrical is six inches short got the trailer backed up six to ten inches it got done and it was a good reminder as to how important it is to a do a walk around before you leave every location and to make sure all your connections reach before you disconnect the truck okay we're headed to Sarasota and we're running behind and on top of it we've been so busy with work and school we haven't done any laundry so now we're gonna go to Target to buy beach towels because none of our towels are clean there's the laundry room are the proud owner of these wonderful Target beach towels and the woman at the cash register got a big laugh when I said because we're out of our laundry it's now costing me $42 $42 babe there were $7.99 you said you wanted five there wasn't like a five there was dollar not. section. There was, not. there was like not a okay. If you buy these at Walmart, they're like three. I know. Pop. These are really good beach quality towels. You think so? Yeah, look at feel them. Yeah. They're not like soft, but they're like. Yeah, no, I'm no feeling. I'm feeling. This is good. Who it's farted? Good. sharks because I hear they like to hang out in this nice warm water probably right around here right, let's go look for some sharks in the water did you see any because I don't want to get my glasses wet oh. I'm relying relying on you guys <laughs> You're not nice. when they realize I can stand they go for me. <laughs> all right all right all right I told the boys, I said, mom and dad are gonna go for a walk, don't follow us. <laughs> Caleb would say something like, rejected. They've been literally hounding Trish for two days. As I've made a little windshield for the mic, I'm hoping it works. <laughs> All right. Look, those people are from Canada, look, there's a Canadian. There's a Canadian leaf. We love Canada. Yeah. Hey. Boys get along great with old people. Yeah. So, and I think it's because our boys love to talk. I mean, like, love to talk. And I think these older people maybe are away from their grandkids and they're like, this is great. I want to talk to these kids. 
and they just let them talk away. Yeah. 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 Somebody, somebody once asked me, "Are you afraid that they're not going to get socialized?" <laughs> That's right, round in circles. Woo! 38 foot lagoon catamaran. Hang out with you me. never told me they had a lagoon. Well, you weren't paying attention. By the way, there was a typo in the parking pass. It expires tomorrow, not next Friday when we're gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> we need a catamaran. Carson says we need a catamaran in our life. I'm not gonna disagree with him. Caleb likes the catamaran life. Yep. Sailing life. This isn't a time to no, be no video gamer right now. This is a time to enjoy life. Okay, just uploaded New York City part two. Wow, so much work. But these Starbucks are screaming fast Wi-Fi and it makes it so much easier. So here's what we're doing today. No, we'll tell you in the car, stay back, stand by. No idea what's happening, but the trailer was literally fishtailing all over the place. I s slowed the car as much as I could and it was pushing the car like this back and forth. We the, must have a flat tire. It might be the thing that we watched on the I have no idea. I do know that I was watching a deal on Facebook. Oh, you, the weight. The, the weight. The yeah. weight of the, the water. Weight of the wa no, we've been riding with two thirds for weeks. I'll go back there and see if there's Remember a flat. Facebook, well, let me get out over here to see if there's oh a flat. Oh my gosh, that was nerve wracking. Everything looks fine. Everything looks absolutely fine. It's windy. It's windy? Yeah. We've been in windier conditions than this. Well, no, not, not really. 
Okay, so to date, that was the scariest situation I have ever been in. I was going 55 miles per hour. I felt like the tires went into one of those grooves in the road and it kind of swayed a little bit and I thought, oh, so I just slowed it down to five. I was going 60, I went down to 55 and I got in the right lane. Then I started feeling it sway and it started swaying to the point where you could feel the truck moving back and forth. Coincidentally, I just saw a Facebook, uh, like a full-time RVers on Facebook post of a travel trailer swaying left and right, flipping on the side, sliding down the road, and the truck coming up and turning backwards. And that was a whole conversation about how wind can basically create sway enough to, to come over. And as soon as it started swaying, I, it didn't feel like a flat tire. I knew it was probably the wind. And so I slowly, I kept a straight line and slowly started slowing. And then my trailer brakes are still working fine. So anyway, all is good. But I think under those situations, trying to stay calm, keeping a straight line and slowly putting the brakes on and pulling over is the thing to do. This really, really could have been a bad situation. I did let a little bit of water out just in case it's a weight and balance issue because the other thing that causes trailer sway is is not having the weight in the right spot. But nothing's really changed with our weight in weeks. But we've had worse wind, but it might not be just how much the wind is. It could also be, it could also be the direction of the wind. But I also tightened up my trailer sway um, anti-trailer sway bar. Anywho, all right, back on the road. Out of Sarasota, and we're headed up to Devil's Den. Sarasota. Something we have never heard of before this trip. And then we're gonna really get back in the car, have some dinner, and we're gonna make as much progress as we can toward Destin, Florida, because uh, Sarasota to Destin is a good seven hours, right? It's a big drive. And we're gonna boondock somewhere Seven hours for a normal car, not for us. Yeah, so I think what you know what we typically do on a on a travel day like this is use as much time as we possibly can after dinner. And Trish is really good at driving in those in those uh, after dinner hours. And then we have made a reservation at the uh, Golf Club Destin, Florida. It's a Ooh, beach. I'm so excited to see this resort. It's a beachfront RV resort in Destin. It's going to be a ton of fun. We'll Plus, give you the scoop. Lots coming up, stay tuned. And if you liked this episode, give us a big old juicy thumbs up because it helps us reach even more people. And like, that's what we want. We love the community. So and keep posting. Yeah. Keep thumbs commenting. ups and comments and shares. This and guy keep loves in touch. chatting with everybody. I do. I do. Yes. I'm not going to lie about it. All right, we'll catch you next week.